And why is the DOD interested in digital IOF? Well, there's two reasons. One's growth and then the other's flexibility. So growth, SATCOM is like any other communications. It's like Moore's law. It's like cell phones. It's like the internet. It's growing and growing and growing. Maybe not as fast, but it's growing exponentially. We're about out of capacity. We've about used up the capacity we can use up with our L-band systems, with our analog systems. We need to switch to digital, something we can grow with in the future. The other reason is flexibility. So digital IF gives us communications resilience. By being networked, we can move digital IF F from uh, one place to another, one site to another. Um, makes a huge difference in resilience and reliability, makes uh, availability uh, possible, levels it never was before. So what's the cost of this? The cost of this is since we're digital, interoperability requires that we pay attention, hence the Diffie standard. Well, digital F migration is, I see it as an ongoing development, as a gradual process where we gradually introduce more and more modems, more and more waveforms into the digital F world, more features, more applications. So we grow the universe where we can use it. So I see D, um, in DOD and commercially, I see ongoing uh, capability development against explicit roadmaps, a commercial roadmap and a DOD roadmap. So to learn more, please join the Diffie Consortium. You know, DOD stakeholders, please join the government block. Uh, reach out to Henry Tran or reach out uh, to myself. Henry Tran is the uh, chairman of uh, SATCOM Interoperability and Standards Committee. And he runs the um, a government block for the Diffie Consortium. And then uh, Diffie Consortium is very active. Um, it's going to play a huge role in the migration of digital life. It's going to make digital life migration uh, possible. And so eventually all our systems will be digitized and networked. AJ Vigil, thank you very much.